Hi, Aletha here with Create Your Future. The Create Your Future is giving away a free course. It's entitled, How to Find Your Blocks to Manifest Anything Fast. And you can find the link in the description box below. Also, I have courses on sale right now for $20 off of each course. Why it's okay to manifest an SP who is already in a relationship with someone else. Manifest exactly what you desire. Full proof, get your SP back. Manifesting a relationship with an age gap, anti-aging and the law of assumption, turning back your biological clock, and the keys to manifesting anything quickly. All of those courses are on sale of mine for $20 off. And of course, the other course from Create Your Future on manifesting anything fast is free. So check it out. I also do one-on-one -on -one coaching, as you know, and I would love to meet you and work with you and help you under, help you to uh, work through the process of manifesting the thing your heart desires. So you are welcome to schedule a session with me and all of my sessions right now are 50% off. I wanna read a quote to you from Neville Goddard. Define your ideal and concentrate your attention upon the idea of identifying yourself with your ideal. In other words, you want to get your SP back. So you have to identify yourself as the person who is with that SP now. Not longing, wanting, desiring, needing, and crying over, but literally I am internally with my specific person now. And I feel all those feelings of having it now, the joy, the love, the, the excitement, all of that. He goes on to say, assume the feeling of being it. And that's just what I said. You have to assume you are the person you desire to be internally. You may look at the external world in your 3D and see everything falling apart or that your SP specific person is with someone else or they're just ignoring you, or they're not as attentive to you anymore. That doesn't matter. Those are reflections of your past thoughts, but now you've changed your thoughts and you're living from the constant assumption that you and your SP are back together happily and blissfully in whatever way you choose that to be. And you live from that and you feel what that feels like. What was it, what's it feel like to be the thing your heart's desiring? It feels wonderful, it feels exciting. It's joy, it's love, it's security, it's safety. It's whatever it is you are desiring, you have it now. And then he goes on to say um, that it would be yours. You have to embody that, that's what he says. He goes on to say that you have to embody, that's what I've been saying. Then live and act upon this conviction that you already are the person your heart's desiring. You're not sitting around crying and feeling sad for that person and missing them. You're living with them internally right now. They're yours, you have it, it's already yours. This assumption, though denied by the senses, which is your 3D reality, if persisted in, will become fact. So whatever you're persisting in now, in the moment is going to be your future reality. Are you persisting in, in having your SP back or are you persisting in not? And continually looping over in your mind all of the things that have taken place in the 3D with that person, thinking about the things they've said, the things they've done, the resentment you feel towards them, the apology you're expecting from them before anything better can happen. Are you living from places of wanting and having and needing, it's called lack? Or are you living from that abundant state of assuming and knowing it's already yours, you have it, and you live with it internally. When you experience the 3D being everything opposite of what your heart's desiring right now, you don't experience it to the fullest, not at all. You experience it as the observer. You see it happening, you hear the words, you see the action in front of you, but as the observer, you do not attach to it emotionally. You do not go home quickly and call a friend and say, you'll never guess what he did to me now, or you'll never guess what she did to me now. No, you're not gonna do that at all. You're gonna recognize in the moment that this is a reflection of a past thought, it's an illusion, it's not real, 
I'm the observer. These are only things that I created out of my thoughts that have been pushed out of me and now they're being reflected back to me. But my choice now in the moment, seeing all that, is to live from the wish fulfilled internally. And as I do that, that will become, if I persist in it, my next 3D reality. And then I can go ahead and call my friend and say, hey, guess what? We're together again and it's so wonderful and blissful because you have created, or you have selected is a better word, You have because that creation is finished, right? Everything's finished. You're just selecting what's already there. You have a desire for it, it's yours, it's promised to you. So you have selected with your choice in the moment to think and live from the assumption of the wish fulfilled only from that and when you slip up that's okay get right back on it because it's what you give most of your attention to he says you must persist in it you're going to persist in the old story of what you're seeing taking place in your 3d right now or are you going to persist in what's going on internally the new story the thing that says i am already so and so's wife girlfriend whatever it is that you want boyfriend husband whatever it is you want you desire, you live from that internally. And in the moment you're living from that is pushed out of you and does become your next 3D reality. You just need to stay with it and persist with it until it shows up. People say, well, how long do I do it? You do it till it shows up. That's how long you do it. How long do I continue with my inner conversations being in alignment with what it is my heart's desiring? All the time, all the time, keep doing it. When you slip up, get right back on and do it again the thing that you want, stay on top of what it is your heart's desiring. Persist in that and it will become your 3D reality. And it will have to, object, as he says, it objectifies itself into fact. It becomes reality. It becomes your new 3D reality. So everything is in the moment. You select right now. You make that choice. What am I going to live from? Am I going to live from the old story of not having, or I'm gonna live from the new story of having, and I'm gonna assume that I am that person. I'm gonna walk around my house. I'm gonna walk around the world being that person internally. And he also says that do that secretly. In another portion of scripture, on a, or scripture, sorry, another portion of the book, he talks about keeping it to yourself because when you, exp when you tell people that you are living from the end of being with somebody, and their attitude is totally opposite, thinking, ha, no, you, you deserve better than that. And they start giving you all those negative reasons, what's gonna happen? Ego gets in the way, you start to doubt, you start to spiral, and, and, and it, it messes everything up. Don't share everything. Just when people ask you about how things are going, and at this point you're not with your person, simply say everything's going as planned. It's all good, it's all good. Or just say, I'm fine, everything is good. If they want more details, just say, I don't feel like talking about it right now. Could we just do something else? And change the subject. You are smart. You know what to do. You know how to handle the people in your world. And also, you know that you're the opera and power of your reality and everyone must conform to your thoughts. So therefore, have thoughts. If you're going to be with somebody that you know always pressures you to talk about your relationship or the lack thereof, then why don't you predict the future by imagining them, by intending with your intentions, with your imagination, that they never say a word. That, they, that they're so busy with whatever's going on in your world that they forget to ask you. That they're so consumed with themselves that they don't even think about what's going on in your world. That they never bring it up. You can do that. I do it all the time. And guess what? It works. Okay, so right now, what are you going to do? You're going to assume the the wish fulfilled. You are the thing that your heart's desiring. You are with your special person. person. You and this person are blissfully and lovingly together, happily, and all that good stuff. And you do that, that's internal. Whatever's happening in the 3D, you're the observer, you just let it go. And you, you know, in that very moment, you're letting it go, you're the observer, you don't give it any of your attention. But inside, why aren't you giving your attention? Because inside you're giving your attention to your wish fulfilled, to your desire. And so you have to replace. If the 3D is bothering you, then you have to replace it with whatever it is you do want. What is your vision? You have to have a vision. A vision of the you and your SP being together permanently, forever, whatever you want. And 
you don't think about the old because you've replaced it with the new. How do we stop thinking about something? We replace it with something else. That's what you do. And that's being the observer. You observe, oh, nope, don't do this. Then you replace. Observe, replace. And then you push it out. The replacement, what thing that you do want. And then guess what happens? It's reflected back. And there's your whole new, beautiful, wonderful reality manifested perfectly.